Hi, today I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up my new program called Ken's Today Screen. Uh, as you can see, I've already uploaded Ken's Today Screen to uh, this phone storage card. All you got to do is click on the install file and it'll start installing. I'll ask you if you want to install it to your device or a storage card, and I recommend you install it to the device, but you can do the storage card as well. So click install. While it's installing, I'll show you that. Right now I'm I'm using the Tilt. I've tested it on the Tilt and the 8525. It says it installed correctly. So now we can get rid of File Explorer. And we can now, to open it, go to Start, Programs, and there should be an icon here, Ken's Today Screen. Go ahead and click that. So here, here it's open, and the reason for the crazy purple color is uh, right now when it starts, by default, it starts by choosing a new color each minute. And you might want to turn that off because uh, it might slow down your, your phone every minute or so. So I turn that off usually. Um, but click random color to get different colors, one that's more suitable. That one's pretty good. Um, you can click choose color and edit the colors to be exactly the color you like. I like um, dark blues. And that's how about there. And we'll click OK. So here we go. Um, first thing you next thing you want to do is go ahead and click the battery up at the top. It should open the battery, so let's try it. And as you can see, it did not. It says error and run. What this means is the program that was trying to open when you click the battery didn't open because it wasn't there for some reason. So let's click more settings. Right now, when you click the battery, here it says we're trying to open Windows slash power dot exe. Um, but that exe doesn't exist on this phone. It does on other phones. You can try clicking option number two, which gives you another option. Uh, click test to see if that one will work. And this one does work for the tilt. Um, if neither work, what you can do is you can change what's in this text box to anything that you like. So maybe you want um, your own program to open. Every time you click the battery, go ahead and change that to whatever you want. So now that we know that that works, you can click OK. One more test, let's test it. There, you can see that works. You might also want to t click on one of these icons. Uh, they should take you to your wireless manager. And as you can see, it does for this phone. Um, if that doesn't work, you can change that under more settings down here under the wireless manager. Once you've got done that, the next thing to test is the contacts. Um, right now, uh, when, it, when you install this program, contacts won't actually take you to your contacts. That is because I couldn't find the exe file that runs your contacts. So instead, what you'll have to do is right click on contacts and click choose new program. Now, this is your start menu, and go ahead and find contacts under your start menu. And right here, you can see there's contacts. So you click that, and then click OK, or Add. Now you need to choose an icon for it, and let's choose the contact icon. And here we have contacts. Now when you click contacts, it'll work. Go ahead and change all the programs however you like them. Uh, for instance, I don't like the calendar, so let's get rid of the calendar. Um, program I do use, um, Pocket Doodler, let's use that one. This is a program I wrote. It's a um, painting program, so we'll use the paint uh, icon. And as you can see, it says Pocket um, because it used the file name Pocket Doodler. But because it was too long, it didn't fit. So let's change that to just Doodler. And you can click Change Name. And we'll click OK. Now you can see it says Doodler. And let's test it. When you click it, it should open the program you've decided. And sure enough, it opens. And you can see it runs just fine. So we'll close that. Now that the programs are how you like it, you should select the contacts you want. Uh, to add contacts, all you have to do is click the plus signs. And 
choose a contact you want. There we go. Uh, you can um, add more. Let's add one more. Now, the reason one has a picture and the other does not, uh, this contact had a picture associated with it and this one did not. Um, what it does when there is no picture is it makes an icon of a person and will tell you right down, it will write the name of that contact. Um, it's kind of dark, so the dark background makes it hard to read, um, so I recommend making a lighter background or which would be better is to get a picture associated with that contact. Um, well, that's just about it. Uh, now you know how to set up the phone and use it, and I hope you enjoy this program. Thank you.